All right, here we're gonna go ahead and start the bake process. As you can see right here, we got the set point temperature at 150 and the plate temperature is at 175. It is controlling, we're gonna hit start. And you can see it applied the vacuum to it and then it's counting down on the time. Now it's on step two and it's still in the 150. And then they're back again. Step three. And that's the end of the bake process. And now I'm going to jump right over to the spin. And I'm going to first hit center. And when you hit center, you can look inside the chuck. And you can see that I have a wafer in there and it's already centered, so I don't have to move it around. If I did, I can just open it up. It'll stop, I close it, it'll start back up again. Once I feel it's okay, I'll come back over here and hit the spin. So then here's the indicator tells you I'm running at 200 RPMs, and you can see you can see that it's uh, spinning up. Look at the chuck now. And now it's actually at the second one that's at a thousand. The next 10 seconds is going to change and it's going to go up to 4,000 RPMs, which you can pretty much hear it running up to there. And another 10 seconds is going to run at 5,000 RPMs, which is jump to right now. And then it's going to shut off in another half a second and it stops. And you can see the chuck up here is stopped. And that little beep is the end of the process. Now, the other thing I can show you is going to diagnostics. I'm just going to go through a couple of uh, dispensers just to show you that dispense one is your bead. And you can see I can put my finger on the end of the bead removal port. And now I'm going to shut that one off. And then I'm going to hit the dispense two, which is for photo resist, which is up here. Yeah.